Roblox communists. These are real living breathing people and I want to know why and what for. So today I'm becoming a Roblox communist. Papers, please, border simulator. You know it's gonna be good when there's 123,000 angry little Robloxians. <gasps> oh, political symbols. Am I just stupid or is it supposed to be A to O? -lo? So I can buy a Mosin nugget. I know you history nerds in the comments are going, you're saying it wrong. You're going to get me angry. Just got shot for no reason. Did I say something? Why does it, why do you think I care? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's April 15, 2013 all over again. It's just a bone. I guess it's really putting a new definition of bonehead. This guy 100% has a bomb. Oh dear. I am never going to financially recover from this. Is there like a way to get money? How do I increase money without selling out? Am I gonna have to do another War Thunder sponsor? Speaking of which, today's sponsor is... Oh my god, I got a paycheck. Soviet Russia has blessed us. Player 768 got... Yeah! He's gonna save us. Ew. Ew, what is that? It's me. It's all me. I got this. Welcome to the... What do I do? I have the stupid thing. What did I do? This is corrupt. I hate this place. If this girl steps in front of me one more time, I'm gonna show them why I'm called the Bone Snatcher. Why does brother have a gravitational pull? Hey! I'm sorry, is that guy dancing in the window? He's doing the boogie down. <laughs> I got in, I made it through. I can now go work a job and slave away for the rest of my life. So I was talking to Negan from The Walking Dead and I saw a sign in the back that said officers need and I realized I don't wanna mine coal and rob jewelers for the rest of my life. So gentlemen, I am now in the imperialist Robloxian military. What a mouthful. Oh, I got a gun. Yes, sir. Damn. Oh, I can I can emote. Damn, he busted it down. Even at my lowest, I was still a family guy. Damn, these doors are sophisticated. Wow. Damn, this guy's got a gun. Ooh, damn. You're not a lay. Let me in. Michael! Open the door. Place is a shithole. Shut up. Is this what they're doing? They're just letting this place go to shit? Look at them. This is just an exemplification of how poo-poo Soviet Russia was. Look at this. What is going on here? I can't do it. I can't take the brain rot. I have to switch games. I sure can't wait to train at Sevastopol Military Academy. The first one was so bad they had to make a second one. Oh, it's Christmas themed. Why not? I like the snowman. He's got a lot of balls in his mouth. You know, it's February 11th. I'm sorry, does that snow have an ambiance? <laughs> what have, what have I stumbled upon? So I asked this guy how to join a unit and he said to rank up, so how do I rank up? He said I need to do physical trainings because you know how much I love PTs. <laughs> Fellas, it's cadet time. My face? What's wrong with my face? <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Unnamed3579 and I'll be your host today. <laughs> Tank, thanks for the heads up Sherlock. <laughs> Sir, what is it? Where's the shooting range? You. You've crawled. That was not the shooting range. <laughs> Goodbye, Gorbachev. You won't take the Berlin Wall down on my watch. Let's go dodge and weave, buddy. <laughs> now, at this point, some guy ran off to another training and I followed suit. When I got there, it was an Imperial Guard interview, but they kicked me out because I wasn't the rank of Junior Private. Now, keep the name I'm a Bear 961 in mind because he goes, You know what they say, you can't wait, you gotta pay. This would start with some of the business like to call a manic episode. <laughs> For about a week straight, all I did was attend training after training after training. I woke up, I trained, I went to bed, I trained, I laughed, I loved, I trained. Eventually, I reached the highest grindable rank of Master Corporal. Now, at this point, I went back to do another Imperial Guard interview. I poured my heart, my soul, and my sweat into this interview. Not only did I pass this interview, but I'm a bear 961 who failed for a second time. I guess you know what they say, you can't wait, you gotta pay. All right, now it's time for the Imperial Guard Academy. The Imperial Guard Academy is the training program for all future guardsmen. Here you will learn all the basics about being an Imperial Guard and being prepared for your duties. You must pass three stages to become a full guardsman. The first stage is the Red Guard Academy entrance exam. 
<laughs> Look at that moron. Fork you, pal. Fork it on over, buddy. I'm forking at it with you. Look at this cat. Why are they so large? IG suck. No, please. I swallow. Message from our nifty Kadaja. This can't be good. Let's go eat. Anything for you, chief of staff, who I definitely need a promotion from? Would you care for a slice of King's cheese? Freshly made from the udders of King George V. Please, sir. Why does that flag look so... Familiar. Aren't we just the dynamic one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Aren't we just the cutest septet? Who is this guy yapping in the corner? Oh my god. Oh, I need this dynamite. I'm gonna go blow something up. They call me Mr. Bombastic. You have old man hands. Shenanigans aside, at this point, I was in the second stage of the Imperial Guard Academy. The only problem was that they hosted events at dog shit hours. I am not awake at 5.26 in the morning, or 5.57 in the morning, or 4.30 in the afternoon. So when I am awake, I nicely ask for a training to the people online. I got do not ask for trainings. Thanks. Okay, fair enough. Even though it's your goddamn job to do trainings, I'll let it go. At this point, I message around and explain how to fix this time zone issue. I explain how it's not just a me issue. I explain how it can be fixed. I even go as far as creating the format for a new channel. But no, they didn't want it. I persisted anyways, though, because the problem isn't just gonna go away. It'll keep being an issue for me, for that guy, and for a handful of future candidates. That got me kicked out of the academy. Shit. Now, I've been in a situation almost verbatim to this in the past, and I like to think I'm growing as a person, so I did the mature thing and created an inconspicuous health account and rejoined the academy. And honestly, it was a work of goddamn art. Pronouns, hunter. Proverbs, 1227. I don't always tell people where I hunt, but when I do, it's a lie. Yo, check this shit out. We got the retro foam book. All right, on to stage two. The second stage is the training stage. You'll have to attend an etiquette training and a guarding training hosted by Imperial Guard non-commissioned officers plus an academy staff. So, the etiquette training itself was pretty easy. Follow me, he says, and then he leads us into the back room and murders us. However, there was a lot of yap, but besides that, it wasn't too bad. Now, the guard training. It, uh, it definitely went. My mother is forcing me out of the laptop. You're in the laptop? Beak! For God's sake, I am not canceling, but... I'll spare you the details. He postponed. Oh my God, it's Pearl Harbor. I have this running theory that nations that build cars tend to last longer because you don't hear a lot about Russian cars or Soviet cars unless you get the fucking Bulgaria mobile. Great. I love the Senate of the Federation. Wow. Honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but my character's kind of built like a traumatized lesbian. What is this guy doing? He's just walking back and forth. Brother thinks he's in the honor guard. Holy shit, someone call Bilal. Now, out of my very minimal respect for the unit, I'm not going to leak how they do their guarding. But after the guard training was done, I sent a message to the commander of the Imperial Guard. With all due respect, we should really revert to the old guarding regulations. These new regulations of practice are so much more focused on aesthetic rather than practicality. We'll end up being confused by position, rank, and call rather than focusing on actual guarding. For context, they had just switched to new regulations and had instructors teaching them who barely knew their ass from their elbow, which is how you learn, but they shouldn't be judging us on something they barely understand themselves. A perfect example of how bad these new regulations were is a guy came running at me armed while I was guarding my VIP and I shot him immediately. They got on my ass about this because he was a high rank or something, but it's like, you could be the goddamn queen of England and I'd still shoot you if you ran at me with a gun. You're a threat. I'm not focused on your rank. Anyways, I think that threw my chance at the academy the minute that I matched the commander because after that, I failed the guarding training like six more times and they always found some new stipulation that I just happened to miss each time, so my bad for having an opinion. Just as I was about to call it quits, Jesus himself flew down from the sky and announced a guard training. This is Sky Michael, aka Shaggy Jesus. He said, let there be training, and he actually passed me. Anyways, on to stage three. In the last stage, you'll be tested on everything you have learned so far. You'll take the final evaluation and will be guarding the person who took your request. Papers, please, is just an anomaly for what's really happening at the border. So, the final evaluation, huh? Yeah, I failed. It's not even like it was close. But a majority of my mistakes came from the fact that I was following the new regulations, the new regulations, which were the only thing they taught us during the academy. But on the final evaluation report, it says, here are some documents to recommend to you. Old regulations, old regulations, old regulations, and you'll never believe this one. Old regulations. You know how that makes me feel? I feel like I'm in a fucking asylum full of dementia ridden old people that I can do nothing but repeat the same fucking words on loop like a fucking broken record. That's it. I'm done. I made the effort to get through this academy, but I can't argue with stupid. How exactly do you expect me to get through an academy which contradicts itself every five seconds? There's no happy ending here. I just can't do it. I'm sorry.
Do you hear that? Can you hear the drum beat? It's the sound of one last ace! I am Pine899. You're not even ready for this. For a unit that prides itself on being attentive, they just aren't. This is the deputy commandant of Imperial Guard. If you give a man a fish, you feed him for a night. But if you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. I was blowing this shit like a seven inch schlong and they're just like, yeah, that's just pine. Hey, gold team, if you give a man a fish, I can go in. Have you tried using the door handle? So do you think your, your guardsman in training is gonna pass? I hear you. Shut up, I'm trying to help you. He did pass, by the way, with some recommendations. Oh, I'll give you money. Are you running one of those cryptocurrency scams over here? I heard all about this on my Fox News. Did I tell you how my gastric bypass went you guys f with skibbity toilet hey you leave him alone you let him die again i'm sorry listen if you give a man a fish what's the difference between a piano and a fish you can tune a piano but you can't tune a fish surprisingly i did do some actual guarding the problem is it is so boring so i decided to give it a little pizzazz good luck buster my god Smell them. I wonder if we steal faint, how far we can take him. Huh? A better view, sir. Ah. Uh. I just shoots anyone who calls me a furry. Damn straight. I'll make sure this guy is uh real safe. I know the way. Look what I've done. We put faint from the center into the um, post office. Welcome to John's Pizza Shop and Abortion Clinic, where yesterday's loss is today's yeah. sauce. Okay, the day after these shenanigans, an announcement to the Imperial Guard read, in regards to a recent incident, we've been stripped of our rights to guard the government entirely. I'm not saying the two are related by any means, but they probably are. But the one thing I hate more than the Imperial Guard is government overreach. So I'm gonna have a word with the frizz. If you haven't figured it out by now, I don't negotiate with the government. Now, I have no personal problem with Frizz. She seems great. But furries? Is that a furry? What are you? You can't kill someone for their avatar. Why, yes I can. Watch. You wanna act like a dog? You're gonna get treated like a dog. You can't kill for that. Sorry, I believe in euthanasia. And clipped. Perfect. This is a certified, this'll really get him off video. <laughs> what is that? Diaper wearing stinky ass. What the? I asked my Chinese friend what he thought about the censorship in China. He said, can't complain. Oh my god, is that a member of the Ku Klux Klan? Brandad, is that you? <laughs> so I joined a couple other units. The Ministry of State Security, that one didn't last so long. I killed Frizz! I killed Frizz! There was a tiny stint in the 98th Airborne where I dropped the greatest Gartic phone at it and dipped. Blooster is Austrian and painting like Bob Ross. Yeah, I'm getting bad. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I also attempted to become a citizen. To say I was wronged is an understatement. I was fucked in the ass and he didn't even ask me on a date first. So I go to the recruitment office, I get in line, I talk to the guy and he tells me to switch to the immigration team, so I do that. I was then detained on my way back. When I finally got to the recruitment office, they killed me. Great. So I come back and say, may I go in for a citizenship test? Locked. L locked? You just told me to switch teams. The fuck do you mean locked? I'm gonna lock my foot in your ass. So yeah, they just wouldn't let me in. Look how sad he is. But I won't stand for this injustice. They call me Gary Plushe. Goodbye, guys. Bye-bye. Even after blowing up half the civilian affairs ministry, this legend still let me take a citizenship test, and I passed with flying colors. So that's the story of how I became a citizen. I also joined the Ministry of Admissions, which handles the booth at the border. Can I kick this person out of the booth? Come on, clever girl, Red. Do something clever. Fake passport. And can I operate the booth? What? I eventually did get control of the booth and I was pretty good at it. I didn't put up with anyone's bullshit and just said bye bye. But then people started bothering me. Where's your advisor? No hablo inglés. See, I was chopping through this line like Jeffrey Dahmer and apparently they don't like that. Supervised? I have no idea where he went. He just walked away. It turns out not only do you have to be supervised, but you have to pass an exam. To press buttons. On March 30th, 2024, admissions has issued you a formal written what? No, thank you. Hello? Have you seen my walking stick? It's in that apartment. Thank you, young man. I think my walking stick's in here. My walking stick. Hey, hey, you. 
I remember you. Uh, I fought you in the Great War. I'll take that saber of yours, young man. That'll be my new walking stick. Send him down the trap door. Let him see Meg. Can you stop breathing into your mic? Sorry. I don't need to hear a gosh darn tornado every time I hear your mic. Back up! It must be that phone of yours. Back when I was flying my aeroplane in the sky, I killed 50 soldiers in the trenches. You hear that, young man? Oh, uh, this reminds me of the trenches. Mustard gas. Hey, can you hear me? Young man, wake up. These darn kids in their earphones. Take your earphones out. Well, who's this lovely dame we have here? Where am I? This isn't Dunkirk. My name's... Gerald. Gerald Ford. What? I'm no grandpa. Oi, when I get my hands on you, I may be a grandpa, but at least I don't have those stupid shades on. Has anybody seen my wife, Quandissimo? Where'd they take her? Why do you look like that? What's wrong with your eyes? Grab your eyelids and pull them shut. Help! I've fallen and I can't get up. Somebody get life alert. I need my life alert. <laughs> You best show some respect to your elders. Hey, nurse, I think you need to get this guy a hearing aid. He can't hear me. I think he's deaf. What? Who's speaking? I beg your finest pardon? I can't hear too good without my hearing aids. Uh-oh. Just like the good old days. Hey, nurse. Nurse, come closer. Closer. Little closer. Have you seen my hearing aids? I can't hear too good without my hearing aids. You said I need to turn on my hearing aids? The Bluetooth device. Oh, well, that's quite jolly. Thank you for that. <laughs> Oh darn, they're in the trees. $30,000. That's how much my first house cost. What? Who's playing Freebird? I'm going to have a psychiatric episode if you keep it up. What do you mean that man dressed in pink is holstering a grenade? Where? I don't see him. Uh, I think my phone's going off. Back in my day, we used to have floppy disks. What? Is that a duck? We used to go hunting for you guys back in the day. Hold on, I'm taking this spot back. It's called Manifest Destiny. Listen, kid, I can still bust a move. I bet you kids can't bust a move like me. This is how we protest. Like I protested the Vietnam War. You guys go to Burning Man. I was the Burning Man. What? I beg your finest pardon? Lock down, lock down. Don't lock down, I just got here. If anything, we need to be locking in. Can I go through? No. What did I do? Michael, let me out the elderly home. Grandpa's free, Grandpa's free. I said, turn your hearing aids on. The last thing I decided to do was test the Roblox swear filter. Fucking shit piss. What the fuck is going on here? The fucking liberals, dude. Oh, uh, hold on. I call this manifest destiny. Thanks, buddy. What? Fuck. Shit. Piss. It seems this guy has a generational talent. <laughs> what? Anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up my time being a Roblox communist. Now, real talk for a second. This group got one thing right on the money. They have a really diverse plethora of units to join within the government and the military. Where I think they fall short is the fact that they are super inefficient. When I joined the Ministry of Admissions, it took them 10 days to accept my application. And the Imperial Guard, when I told them that their current training program is slow and redundant, they kicked me out instead of addressing the actual problem. So they gotta find that balance between efficiency and things to do. One without the other throws both off. It's like yin and yang. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Watching, and also, thank you all for 20,000 subscribers. That shit is absolutely wild. Now, with that said, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, gentlemen.